Hi everyone, so we are back with um, one of the most fa- most recommended track, um, mm. but we are not listening it together because it was uh, recommended a lot, right? We are listening it together <laughs> because we like it, we love it. Uh, and there are so yeah. many reasons that we lo- love it, and we will talk about all those reasons after the video. Yeah. Do you want to add something? Absolutely. Uh, I just want to give shout out to one of our viewers, uh, Afrina. She was kind enough to share the narrative of this particular song as well, and she recommended this song. So thank you so much, Afrina. And along let's with, get started. Along then. with uh, many other people, uh, one more important. Many other people. One more important thing. So this song is from a movie called No Dorai, right? Mm-hmm. And we might not be able to share the video of this of this song, right? We might have Quite to possibly. like uh, we might have to cut it out. Uh, only the audio. Mm-hmm. We will try our best. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. The the acoustics. I love it. In this track look at that beautiful acoustic here right
the shots in this movie are just amazing shots. This track always gives me chills. Chills. Always. Chills. Literally chills. I was just doing this because... <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I think I think the the video gives me chills. The, especially the last shots. Um, well, but it literally gives me chills every single time. Um, I was unconsciously doing this. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, the, I I can talk a lot about this track, but tell me why. So I for viewers, one day I get a message for him that like he is floored by this track. Floored completely. And uh, tell me what happened. So you mentioned in one of the videos, uh, I think we did for level five. Ah, psychedelic uh, stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you got that right. So this was the song. I mean, level five music also gets me in that zone. But as soon as I heard the voice, it had that effect on me, the psychedelic effect. I was completely transported into a different world when I was listening to this particular song. And I did not watch the video intentionally because I had read in the comments about the vocals of this particular guy, how unique they are. And without watching the video, I could feel the goosebumps. I mean, the video takes it to another level altogether. But the, the voice is so, so unique and so amazing that it peers through my heart. Seriously. Wonderful. That's, that's the first thing that I want to mention here. Uh, for me, I got floored. Not when I heard John Suna. I mean, I loved it. Uh, the I mean, the first time I heard it, it was an instant hit, right? But, you know, there mm -hmm. are some tracks that you just drop everything else and they go, okay, what's happening? And it was a track mm -hmm. by Mohan Sharif uh, called Ami Oper Hoi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So I've heard Ami Oper Hoi version from Shahana Bajpai. I've heard it from mm -hmm. uh, Nadia Dora. I've heard it from Lalun Band. I've mm -hmm. heard it from countless, like, I mean, I would have, like, yeah. I would run out of my fingers. There are many renditions. I would run yeah. out of my fingers, but this tra that track from Mohan Sharif, Ami Operhoi, I think that's from Lalun Shah, Fakir Lalun Shah, right? And mm -hmm. that floored me. The, the genius of that track, the, the absolute incredible brilliance of that track. Mm -hmm. And then I come back to Jantro Nam, and I, I, I was tr I was able to pinpoint a lot of those um, elements here as well, that Mohan Sharif mm -hmm. uses to create the the psych psychedelic effect, right? So there was mm -hmm. first of all, um, again, again, I might be wrong, but these days, these days, um, there there are so many sounds that you that go through computer, you know. Uh, so you, mm -hmm. you you are playing acoustic guitar. And that goes into a computer and then you add a lot of filters like Instagram mm -hmm. on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that sounds completely different. You know, you can make a guitar sound like a sitar when it goes through the computer, yeah. right? Anyways, uh, let's not go deeply into the technical stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but the acoustics, I think what they have done here to make it... To, to add to that psychedelic effect is added a lot of reverb. Uh, this is, I think this is what's happening here. They have a lot, added a lot of reverb, but different reverb, mm -hmm. different reverb to the, uh, to the acoustics. 
but especially there was this clapping sound there there was this uh, clapping of exactly. two uh, <clears throat> wooden pieces wooden pieces right yeah just a and, tap and it also had this reverb um effect what is mm-hmm. so for our viewers what is reverb uh it it is very similar to echo but not echo so it's 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 a sound that um bounces back to you but not yeah. as simple as echo for example you would have uh, a different reverb in a amp room but but mm. that reverb would sound very different in a mosque you know yeah in a church yeah. that that reverb has a very different sound in a cathedral which are actually you mm. know the 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 churches and cathedrals and mosques and these structures are built in a manner to maximize yeah. these harmonics enhance right yeah, of these reverbs that when you say something it comes back to you after making a round it has a yeah. very deep effect so these sermons are given in these uh, these structures because it has a psychedelic mm. effect you know absolutely uh, these sermons the domes that we see true these sermons these these everything the, the prayers they are done in these structures because they have this very psychedelic effect that uh, and mm. with those effect uh, it goes subconsciously it goes deeper in your mind in your soul true you know? um so this is i think what they have done here and uh, yeah this the cycle has voice every yeah. i i am a fan of acoustics right mm. this the the beauty of the psychic the psychedelic effect of this track was that uh, it was very very hard to to clap along with those mm. with those taps this wooden tap you know mm-hmm. you think that you have figured yeah. it out i mean it's very easy to figure it out the 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 number of mm-hmm. beats right 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 but because of the psychedelic effect of the of the guitars and the and the vocals you mm-hmm. lose track of even the simple counting try it try True. viewers try True. try doing this go to this uh, track once more and try clapping along and you would see yeah. that you cannot and uh yeah this these are one It of the technical brilliances of this track i mean uh, of this track we are again talking very technical stuff let's talk about the the video and the and the lyrics and the song itself so the narrative is basically about the pain i mean john tonard is loosely translated as pain or suffering right if if i understand correctly and if you understand the uh, the synopsis of the movie or the 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 plot of the movie then you would understand how fitting this particular song is and i want to salute the genius who was behind uh, the thought to introduce mohan for this particular track considering the context of the movie because this movie is about uh, a female uh, a female protagonist who wants to be a surfer right but the societal norms does not allow her to fulfill her dream and she is forced wed into a marriage right she she is married to an older person and loses the love of his life as well so this is basically the background of the movie and this song reflects that pain that she is having the constant thought of not fulfilling her dream thinking about his lover as well i mean both both the protagonists the guy as well as the female you can narrate the story from anyone's end and it will have the same impact but more so for the female protagonist right and it's conveyed beautifully through the lyrics as well as the music of this particular song all right so the funny thing to note here is that the guy the male uh, may lead finds mm-hmm. love elsewhere yeah in this movie mm-hmm. so he falls in love with this um white girl Mm. that uh, he's doing something with i don't know i haven't seen the movie but i how i know it is because i checked out their other songs other songs from this movie mm. and one of which uh, was sung by pritham hasan so naturally of course i heard it <laughs> of course right and it was it was a beautiful track but in that track it was shown that uh, he is like mm. completely infatuated with that other girl while mm. well this girl um is dealing with pain and trauma mm. and you know mm. and uh, yeah i mean she is just crushed it's she's a woman in our society which is yeah it is which is a plague which is i mean which is already um 
yeah a, a, a jail a, mm. a punishment <laughs> anyways anyway so the the video was ex- i mean this sh- every single shot was so beautiful so beautifully captured and um the narration through video uh if if you mute the song true and just watch the video yeah. it's gonna it's gonna pour the the pain the trauma you could feel it you can feel it without listening to the song true. and the song why it was made in a psychedelic manner because again when i was like t- uh, talking about uh these effects are used to seep the message deeper mm. i think this the, this effect was used here to enhance the pain yeah you know, that the girl was feeling yeah uh, overall genius <laughs> like overall every genius. aspect of it the last shot when you see the girl yes <laughs> How switching beautiful. one more thing one more thing this movie is absolutely my kind of movie so i haven't seen the movie but i think this Me is neither. one of those art movies that i really love you know my kind of movie yeah. right? i i i don't watch the commercial stuff you know this mm. uh lovey dovey tangies happy endings mm. uh it is the same template stuff but this looks like an art movie mm-hmm. that i would love to watch and i think i will do i will we will definitely i if, i at least will if if it has proper english subtitles that would be mm. great otherwise it would be like very difficult to consume let's see yeah. i'll um, i'll find it but i'm excited same here i would also look out for this particular movie all right all right let's so, wrap it up then yeah let's do it great so thank you so much for watching our video and see you on the next one take care bye bye